hello everyone welcome to this channel so this uh, this video is about the error uh, error calling s3 get object access denied so uh, by reading the description uh, we uh, think that uh, we don't have access and we need to uh, create an iam policy or uh, change the existing policy or sign policy or something like that uh, but the real uh, issue is something else so uh, when I get this error is uh, when I try to run a lambda in my local and uh, I, I am trying to mock an event uh, which is uh, generated when uh, there is an object that is placed in uh, S3 so uh, this is my event uh, I have generated it manually uh, using SAM so uh, when I call this uh, uh, my lambda function so you can see uh, I'm just uh, calling it here okay so this is my lambda function I'm calling it here with the event so uh, let's go to that So here you can see I am uh, fetching the bucket name uh, from the event itself. So uh, this is my lambda function. So here I'm specifying the bucket name and uh, my file. So I'm, I'm uh, on this event. I'm just trying to read my file. So when you see uh, this error so you might think that we don't have the access but I uh, just uh, let me show you uh, I have given the access so uh, this lambda can uh, read the uh, uh, data from S3 so it has the required access but still I see an error message uh, like error calling S3 get object which can be misleading uh, so how I fix this error is uh, first I have to go to the event uh, okay so here I am passing the bucket name in the event right and uh, in my lambda function I am trying to uh, read the bucket name from the event so going back to my console uh, this is my uh, bucket Coder AI and this is my file, uh, my file dot txt. So you can see I have specified the key of uh, the file which I am trying to read. So the file key is here data slash my file dot txt. So this part is correct. Uh, so here you can see the bucket name is uh, something different and uh, in the event what is generated by default we have something different so uh, let me just modify the event okay let me try now So I have changed the bucket name in the event. Uh, let's see if it works. So yeah, this, this command is uh, running the lambda function and uh, as you can see I am able to read the data from my file. So this is the output uh, data is coming from my file. Uh, can verify here. Uh, 
this is what uh, is present in my file and same thing I'm getting it here so yeah so whenever you see this uh, error it is uh, you the first thing you do is to uh, check the bucket name and uh, if required you just correct it and the error will be resolved uh, hope this helps uh, thank you thanks for watching